Hello and welcome to this introductory video to the numerical structure section of my upcoming book, The Numerical Universe. The book asserts that there is a primordial, numerical, geometric and musical structure to the universe. To reveal this numerical order, I've made use of what I call Mod 9 analysis. Mod is short for modular. Modular arithmetic is sometimes known informally as clock arithmetic. In modular arithmetic, numbers wrap around upon reaching a given fixed quantity. This is known as the modulus. 12 in the case of hours on a clock, or 60 in the case of minutes or seconds on a clock. I like to think of modular arithmetic as the arithmetic of remainders. And to illustrate modular arithmetic very simply, take the number 12 as an example. In mod 9, so when there are effectively 9 sections on the clock face, 12 is 3 because 9 goes into 12, leaving a remainder of 3. So we write 12 equals 3 mod 9. If we then take a number like 35, 35 is 8 mod 9 because 9 goes into 35 3 times, leaving a remainder of 8. All my work focuses solely on mod 9, the only one that uses all the numbers that there are. And when and where I use it, I call it mod 9 analysis. All my early research was fundamentally inspired by an obscure branch of mathematics called Vortex-Based Maths, or VBM for short, the work of Marco Rodin and Randy Powell. Here, a circle is used as a control, or clock, for the nine natural numbers, and then the multiplication tables for each number computed, and their mod nine results tabulated as in the slide. As an example, when we get a result, for example, 4 times 4 gives the natural result 16, we then apply mod 9 to the result to get the answer. 4 times 4 is 16, which equals 7 mod 9, because 9 goes into 16, leaving a remainder of 7. The remainder is what we're interested in. To create the geometries you see above, we simply go from result to result for each number's multiplication table and join the lines up. So here we can see the geometric qualities exhibited by each of the first eight numbers when we apply mod 9 to the multiplication tables for each number. For those who are new to modular arithmetic and were wondering, hey, what happened to the 9 and the 0? Well, whatever modular base you work in will necessarily result back to itself or zero. In mod 9, 9 is paired with the zero. For example, 1 times 9 equals 9 or zero, as there is no remainder. 2 times 9 equals 18 equals 9. 3 times 9 equals 27 equals 9, etc. To clarify how we get to the above geometries, let's start with the 1 times table. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, etc. And you can see that the 1 times table creates a geometric shape called a nonagon. And you can see that the direction of the flow is clockwise. Now the 2 times table goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is 1 mod 9, 12 is 3 mod 9 etc. Here we have a different geometry, also flowing in a clockwise direction. The 4 times table goes 4, 8, 12 is 3 mod 9, 16 is 7, 20 is 2, etc. It produces a 9-pointed star, again flowing in a clockwise direction. The 3 times table goes 3, 6, 9, 12 is 3, 15 is 6, 18 is 9, and so on creating the triangle. Again, the flow is clockwise. The 8 times table goes 8, 16 is 7, 24 is 6, 32 is 5, 40 is 4, etc. And notice that the 8 shares the same geometry as the 1, except it is flowing anti-clockwise. Similarly for the 7, 5 and 6, 
which produce the same geometry as the 2, 4 and 3 respectively. We can clearly see that the numbers are paired geometrically and in a positive, negative, clockwise, anti-clockwise relationship. 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 4 and 5, 3 and 6, 0 and 9. Mod 9 is the only modular base system that displays this kind of symmetry where all of the numbers are paired off geometrically to form five pairs. You can see from this visual that there are two distinct circuits at work here by noticing that the geometries of the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 all touch each of the nine numbers around the circle whereas the 3, 6 and 9 keep to themselves. Seeing numbers pictorially had a very profound effect on me, so heartfelt thanks to Marco and Randy for being at the root of the inspiration for this work. I resonated so strongly with him, and it became like a vocation. This was essentially because the harmonic grid which I've been using for 20 years to time financial markets also is something that brings order out of seeming chaos. Just like modular arithmetic, and in particular mod 9, seems to do. Here we see the first mod 9 analysis applied to an important integer sequence. Cellular mitosis is essentially the process of cell division that allows humans to grow and for cells to repair themselves. It gives the following sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, etc. i.e. the cells simply double and double and double. When we apply mod 9 to this sequence, again using the circle or clock as our control, we see a repeating sequence emerge 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. The founders of vortex-based maths, Marco Rodin and Randy Powell, refer to this as the doubling circuit. Having more than a passing acquaintance with Fibonacci and the golden mean through my work on financial markets, I immediately looked at the sequence in a new light. For those that do not know, the Fibonacci sequence begins 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, etc. Adding the previous two terms to get the next term. The interesting thing about the sequence is that by adding the previous two terms to get the next term in the series, the numbers adjacent approximate to a phi or a golden mean relationship of 1.618. More unusually, the numbers once removed are in a relationship of 2.618. The higher up in the sequence, the closer two consecutive numbers of the sequence divided by each other will approach the golden ratio, or what is called phi, which is approximately 1 is to 1.618, or 0.618 is to 1. The golden ratio is found throughout the human body, even in our DNA. The DNA molecule, the program for all life, measures 34 angstroms long by 21 angstroms wide for each full cycle of its double helix spiral. I then discovered to my amazement that if you go far enough out, you soon realise that the Fibonacci sequence with mod 9 applied produces a repeating 24 number sequence. I could hardly believe it. I thought nobody will have found that, but... Research unfortunately revealed that I was not the first to see this recurring pattern, but it seemed that it had only just recently been discovered. Upon further investigation, I noted that if you take the second 12 numbers of the sequence and place them under the first 12 numbers, we can see this beautiful numerical symmetry in the Mod 9 sequence where Top and bottom numbers are number pairs as described Even more interesting is when we write the Fibonacci sequence mod 9 in four columns on six numbers, like this. 
column 1 shows the doubling circuit numbers of the 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Column 2 shows the 1 and 8 number pair. Column 3 showing the doubling circuit numbers again. And column 4 showing the 369 family number group attributed to magnetism. More about family number groups later. More investigation has been done in this area and can be found on my website at www.newunderstandings.com. Here we can see the modulo for other important integer sequences. More about the properties of these may be found on the website. Both Lucas and Pell sequences have a 24 number sequence that repeats and display a two-dimensional numerical symmetry showing number pairs. The Jacob style has an 18 number sequence that repeats and displays the numerical symmetry in two dimensions again, while the Padavan sequence is probably the most interesting of all. The Padavan sequence has a 39 number sequence which then displays a three-dimensional numerical symmetry clearly displaying the family number groups 147, 258 and 369 in the columns. In my view, this is an extremely important integer sequence whose properties may not yet be fully appreciated. So according to my understanding so far, the entire structure of reality is generated by the only 10 digits there are, 0 to 9. They are then organized as five definite pairs, 0, 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, and 4, 5, and three definite groups, 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, and 3, 6, and 9. The 72 number sequence mod 9 that I had discovered in my paper on music, 6 octaves of 12, led me to arrange the numbers 1 to 72 and place them into six columns as laid out on the left of the chart with the mod 9 answers on the right. This quickly shows why prime numbers will exclusively return these remainder values infinitely, because the prime numbers only occur in column 1 and column 5, which simply repeat 741 and 528 respectively. 147, 258 are the electric family number groups, whereas 3, 6 and 9 is the magnetic family number group. So the 9 is the central axis, the 9 forms. The 3 and the 6 are the boundaries, the 3 and the 6 contain and confine. The 147 and 258 family number groups are controlled by prime numbers. The prime number strings spiral from opposite directions around the central axis, the 9, within the confines of the boundary, the 3 and 6. So in terms of an apple, the 9 is represented by the core and the attachment to the tree. The 3 and the 6 are the boundaries that determine the size of the apple. The 147 and 258 make up the flesh of the apple as it is formed or coalesced or integrated by spiralling from opposite directions around the core. And so it is with all things in physical manifestation. The 3, 6 and 9 are the conduit for the 147 and 258 in the same way as the pipework in your house is the conduit that, that causes water to be available to you at different locations within it. In this case though the pipes are obviously not carrying water to all points. They're carrying or providing the potential for electricity to play out its dance. I provide this metaphor mainly so that you may appreciate that the plumbing has nothing directly to do or in common with the water per se, other than its ability to provide a conduit for its delivery. It's sort of the same with electricity, except, as we shall see in this next part, magnetic light and, el and electricity, it turns out, are the reciprocal of each other, which, of course, pipes and water are not. A quote by Walter Russell says, 
The known octaves which lie in the range of perception are five and one half. These begin with the third or hydrogen octave and end with the uranium group, which are isotopes of actinium and tomium in the last octave. The invisible octaves of finely divided matter of space are three and one half in number. These octaves are beyond our range of perception, but they are not beyond our knowing. So I looked at the numbers involved and the visible spectrum, five and a half octaves, or five and a half times twelve, giving sixty-six notes, and the invisible spectrum, three and a half octaves, or three and a half times twelve, giving forty-two notes, for a total of a hundred and eight notes in nine octaves. And so then I looked at the relationships of these two numbers and found that the ratios, 3 over 5 divided by 5 over 5 equaling 0 0.636363, showing the magnetic family number group, and 5 over 5 divided by 3.5 equaling 1.571428, 571428 recurring, showing only the electrical family number groups. Electricity is numerically shown to be the reciprocal of magnetism. And to paraphrase the great man, the electric we can perceive through our electric senses of our electric bodies, while the magnetic we cannot directly perceive, yet we can know. This introductory video forms just a small part of a much larger body of work, which is my online book, The Numerical Universe and which is being released in two parts. Part 1 is available now and contains the numerical structure and the section on DNA and amino acids, the game unpacked. Part 2 is out soon and hopefully by the end of this year.